Our big story tonight, a Mesa skate night with hundreds of teens spirals out of control. Mesa Skateland hosted its weekly skate night for teens last night when a fight broke out between a teenage girl and staff member. It ended with officers assaulted, kids arrested, and more than 70 police officers on the scene. Team 12's Michael Downda is live at Skateland and joins us now with more. Michael. Yeah, guys, we're out here in Mason. If you turn this way, you can see a parking lot that right now is empty. But if you were here about 11 o'clock or so last night, you would have seen pretty much just police officers as far as the eye could see. And that's a troubling sight for a place that sells itself as uh, for family friendly fun as it fell into chaos. I don't understand why the kids were going zero to 100 for no reason. The video taken by Maria Singfield Moore shows the chaos. She was out with friends at a packed night at Skateland Mesa when the fights broke out. There were so many people in line and like, I just had a feeling something might happen. It all spiraled out of control when, according to a Facebook post from Skateland Mesa, a girl tried to re-enter the rink after leaving. The problem, that's against the policy of Skateland. And when the girl did not get what she wanted, the company says she then charged a staff member. The kids were very aggressive for really no reason. Things would escalate from there. More than 70 members of Mesa PD would respond as multiple fights broke out in the parking lot. Even rocks were thrown at police officers. Uh, in which three different officers were assaulted to some capacity, whether that was a push, um, some rocks were thrown. In all, police say six teens were arrested. This parking lot is now empty after a night at the family-friendly business went wrong. Yeah, guys, and thankfully, according to Mesa PD, no one involved here, whether it's the officers or the people just on scene, were seriously hurt. Also, Skateland says they will likely be changing their policy, that if there's a teen here that doesn't have their own skates, well, they'll need a chaperone in order to skate. We're live out here in Mesa. Michael Downer, 12 News. All right, Michael, thank you. Ten